Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me for some more drawing this week. And it is Wednesday. Hope you're having a good week. I hope you're all doing well, taking care of each other, staying safe and staying healthy. So summer is officially here. It is extremely hot where I live in North Carolina. How's the weather where you are? You can talk in the chat and we can see how things are going for you on the weather side. Um, the thing about it here is that when they turn on the air conditioning so high in North Carolina because of the heat, I actually wind up getting cold. And every time I get cold, what I do is I just go to the corner of the room because you know the corner is about 90 degrees. So it's time for us to draw together. And what you need is a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, or a stick that you could dip in some barbecue sauce and then draw on some paper, right? If you don't have paper available, draw on whatever you find, like a leaf of lettuce or um, maybe your parents' favorite piece of furniture. Uh, don't do that. All right, now what we're gonna do is a draw along. Now that's where you draw what I draw. And um, this is really easy. We're gonna use three basically different kinds of lines to do this. Now the first one is a straight line, okay? And that goes a little something like this. The second is a zigzag, okay? By the way, today's drawing is going to include a lot of zigzags, and you'll see why in a minute. And the other thing we do is a nice curvilinear line. And those can sometimes look like a C-curve. I say C-curve a lot, right? Sometimes I say shallow C-curve, and this one's a little tighter. Okay, well, that's really all you need to do. Now, let's look at what we have on the agenda here. You draw it. What is it? An animal activity. So we're going to start with the you draw it. We're going to draw this together step by step. Then we're going to move on to what is it. When I draw something, you just have to tell me what it is. Simple as that. Okay, very easy guessing game. And we're going to finish it with animal and, animal and activity, which is when you say something uh, and I draw it. And the way this works is I look in the chat and you suggest an animal. Could be any animal at all. Doing something unexpected or strange or weird or funny or even something perfectly normal that animals usually don't do, okay? And then I will draw that. And we've done all kinds of things in the past. We've done animals with the hula hoops, animals doing the limbo, animals skydiving, skateboarding, surfing, you name it, okay? All right, so be thinking about that in the back of your mind so when it comes time, you can throw out that suggestion. Now for the you draw it, grab your pencil or your pen or whatever it is you've got and let's get started. This is a very easy one today, a very cute one today. And uh, here's how it's gonna start. It's gonna start with a curvilinear line. And it goes like this, watch carefully. I'm gonna curve down and then out like that. So I'm going down this way and then I'm curving out that way, okay? Notice that this part of the curve is a little shorter than that part. So that's a longer section. All right, that's the first line we draw. And before we continue, I want to say hello to everybody in the chat. So I'm just going to look over here and say hi and see what we got. We have Flynn. We have Clever. We have Jennifer, Steve, and Linda, John, Melinda, Ben, Jack, Andrea. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Marcio. I um, hope I didn't miss anybody there, but there are some more folks as well joining as we get started. So let's keep on going. Now, next step is a very simple straight line like this. Straight down like that. It's a short one. It's a short line. Then we're going to come straight back. Now, I always talk about measuring, right? So I want you to think about how far we're going to draw this line. We're going to come straight back in this direction. And we're going to stop that straight line right where we started this one. So it's going to stop right about there. And if you want to, and this is a good habit to get into sometimes, you can give yourself a little point to aim for so you know when to stop. You can just make a little dot like that, see? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that. See the little dot I made? So then I can just say, okay, I'm gonna carry right on back to that dot. And that gives me some place to stop without me having to do any guesswork. Artists do this all the time. It's called plotting points. Did you know that? Alrighty, next step. Very, very simple. All you have to do is a little bit of a C curve right here. Watch carefully. Yep. That's it. Notice how I stopped right there before I got to the top. Not super important, but just want you to notice that I did that. You can do it if you want. 
The important thing about these drawings is that you follow along mostly with what I'm doing, but don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like what I'm doing. The way these drawings are designed is that if, you're, if your lines are slightly different here or there, you're still gonna have a good result, okay? Any guesses as to what we're drawing yet? You can always mention that in the chat as well. Here comes a simple diagonal line. Now, I'm looking at where this curve is, right? And right where I start to curve, I'm gonna come on down about here. And that's where I'm just gonna do this. That's it, little diagonal line, okay? And everybody with me so far? We're gonna do some dots, watch this. Dot, 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 okay? Maybe another couple down here. All right, I hope I didn't give everything away by doing that. Now, the next part is very simple, it's an oval. And I want you to draw this oval where this curve begins. Step out to the right here and look, oval like that. All right, now inside it, we're gonna do a C curve. C curve, okay. And we'll leave that there for a moment. All right, let's see if we have any guesses. Jennifer Poole, clever. Um, hedgehog is the guess. Steven, hedgehog. Well, folks, you nailed it. This is indeed a hedgehog. I got so many requests to draw hedgehogs when we do the animal and activity game. I thought I better finally figure that out and make it into a fun drawing for everybody. So now I'm gonna do short lines, but I'm gonna do them in an actual path, okay? So let me first show you the path. Don't draw this line, just watch. All right, this is the path I'm gonna move. See that? But I'm gonna do it with short lines, and I'll show you what I mean, watch. Short, 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 like that. So see, I'm moving in that direction, but I'm doing it with short lines, okay? And now we're gonna have a C curve. And that C curve is gonna be modified because it's going to have a point in the middle of the curve. Watch this. I'm gonna come up and around, stop for a moment, and then down and around, like that. So it's not a sharp point, but it is a point, nevertheless. So I'm gonna come up and around and then down and around, okay? Look at that cute little hedgehog head, simple. All right, now the rest of this drawing is really interesting because we're gonna use a lot of zigzags, as I mentioned earlier, right? And this is how that's gonna look. I'm gonna move in a path up this way and around to about here. Now again, what you can do is you can give yourself a nice path to draw by using dots if you wish. So for example, if I wanted to, I could say, okay, I'm gonna aim for here and then maybe aim for here. So that's gonna carry along the back. All right, and then I wanna drop down to about here. Now by giving myself those dots, I can sort of map out the size of the body of the hedgehog. And now here come the zigzags. So remember, zigzag. But these zigzags are gonna be pretty tight, okay? They're gonna be tight and skinny, so watch. Here I go, zigzag, 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 like this. Okay, there's that first dot that I wanna make make it to. And then I go, keep on going, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Now I'm gonna curve on down this way, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Okay, see now that way by putting those dots on the page, I can plot out where it is I need to go with my drawing um, utensil, right? But I don't have to try and guess with all those zigzags. All right, now from this point, I'm gonna zigzag out a little bit more like this, zigzag, zigzag. See how I'm kind of moving these zigzags in a curve? And now I'm gonna zigzag up to under the ear, so about to here, All right? And if I want, I can start here, but it'd be easier for me to continue from this point. So I'm just gonna zigzag until I get to there. All right. Next step, I need to get this underside, right? The belly of the hedgehog. Now for this, I'm gonna do lines like I did up here for the top of the head. And I'm gonna aim them to come in a curve to connect with these zigzags. So watch. I'm gonna do a few right here, like that. I'm gonna do these in layers, watch. A few right here. Now here come some layers. I'm gonna come under here. 
and then carry those through like that. And then I'm just going to do a couple more under here so we connect with the rest of the body. Now if I want, I can fill some more in like this. Okay, maybe a few over here. So this is just making that transition from the body of the hedgehog that's a little softer fur to just kind of come up under those spikes, right? Alrighty, now watch this. Oh, they're actually called quills. I should call them the right thing. The feet are so easy. Watch what I do. A little V at an angle like this and another one next to it out here. And then just a little line and a little line, okay? And in the back, same thing. We're keeping this really simple, right? One, two, line, line. That's as simple as it needs to be. A lot of times with drawing, you can really oversimplify stuff and use this kind of shape language. And it's really fun. It's like a cartoony approach, but it's also a way to avoid having to do really complicated stuff that you maybe don't want to draw, right? Now, here comes a tail. Look at this, out and back. Tiny little cute tail like that. What about the rest of the quills? Well, here's the thing. All you have to do is a few zigzags here and there. Okay, sometimes I do like a letter M, but the important thing is the direction in which they move. So the zigzag should always be moving outwards away from the center, okay, of the hedgehog. See that? So as long as you're drawing them outwards that way, then they look like they're about right, okay? And you don't have to draw a ton of them. You can just draw a few here and there. Even a line here or there, if you like, is fine. That's all it takes. Okay, now we're almost done. Watch this. One, two, little whiskers. And I'm just gonna color in this eye right here, like that. That makes him look pretty cute. And inside the ear, just a couple of lines like that. Alrighty. Now, like I always say, you can ground your hedgehog or whatever animal is you're drawing, whatever thing you're drawing, by just making a few lines underneath it like this. Watch, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That just places it on a ground, okay? Alrighty, so. That's it, that's it. Look how simple it was to draw a cute little hedgehog, right? Now, you can make this your own by placing this hedgehog in any kind of environment, drawing friend hedgehogs for it. Um, but yeah, the next step is for you to color it or place it somewhere, make it live somewhere cool, right? And then you can build your drawing from there. All right, so why don't we take our hedgehog and slide it on over like this? And then we're gonna do the what is it game. Now, this is where I draw something and you just tell me what it is that I'm drawing. And as usual, I'm not out to fool you, I'm not out to trick anybody. I'm just here to give you a really simple little puzzle. These are really easy, watch. I'm just gonna draw a line, okay? And I'm gonna come up this way. Okay. And then do this. And then watch. Out we go. Ah, this one is just too easy, isn't it? And there you have it. That's it. So my question to you is, what is it? What am I drawing? I'll look in the chat for your answers. Um, anybody who's watched this show before knows that I'm a very honest person and I, I really always want to make this game as easy as possible. There's no trickery. I'm not trying to fool anyone. I'm not trying to pull something over on you. I'm really just here to give you the simplest possible clue as to what it is I'm drawing. And um, it's funny because so far no one's actually guessed it right, but maybe today will be different. Let's see, pretty flower, a pretty flower. Irina says, don't trust that. Mark, what, is, what a ridiculous suggestion. I'm very confused by that. A dandelion, yeah, great, great, great. Chicken and an egg, clever. What, why would you say something like that? That's a strange answer. Sea dog, what? Not a flower, says Catherine. A turkey, looks a little bit like a lily. Yeah, I think it looks like a flower too. I think it looks a lot like a flower. Um, 
Well, let's see. Is it a flower or, or is it something else? I'll just turn it upside down for a moment. And let's see, I'm gonna do this and then this. And, oh, wait a second. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh, folks. Did it, did it happen again? Did we? Oh. oh. I think I've seen this guy before. Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is... Mm. Gosh, he just keeps popping up in this drawing. It's, it's that guy. It's that old sea dog. It's the sea captain. <sighs> I thought this time would be different, but he always sort of shows up. Hmm. Maybe next time it'll be different. Good guesses though. Um, I wish I wish it were a flower, but no, it's that same old sea dog. I, I don't know what to tell you. He, he just keeps popping up every time we do this game. All right, I'll, I'll, we'll try it again another time and uh, hopefully it'll be a different result, okay? Now I want you to think of an animal because we're gonna do an animal and an activity. Now we've already drawn one animal, a hedgehog. So think of another animal. Um, but another animal doing something unexpected, something funny, something strange, something interesting, something that um, I wouldn't normally think about for that animal doing, okay? And I'll look in the chat and see what your suggestions are, and we'll go from there. Now, I only have a few minutes left, so I have to really make this work. So while you're getting your thoughts together, I'm going to select a nice light blue color, because that is what I'm going to use for my sketch, right? I always draw a nice light sketch. Um, before I draw the final line work. Good habit to get into, folks. Um, all right, so I'm gonna give myself some space here and I'll look in the chat and see what we have. An octopus knitting, I like it. Sam says I should cosplay the sea captain for Halloween. I <laughs> That's a good idea, I might do that. Um, duped, yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, Alrighty, uh, what do we have here? A monkey on a cell phone. Cool, cool, cool. An octopus knitting a lemur. A lemur doing what? A lemur doing what? A raccoon eating an ice cream cone. Ooh, I like that one. A golden retriever chef cooking pancakes. <laughs> a lemur putting, uh, petting the hedgehog. Um, uh, by the way, I don't know exactly how to draw a lemur. It's another one for me to look up, my apologies. A dog doing the tango. There's Twee with her tango suggestion again. Twee and the tango every week. And I need to do it. I, I promise I will get to the tango, Twee. I, you have my word, okay? Um, a hermit crab watering a plant. Penguin in a pilot's uniform. That's cool. Um, hermit crab watering a plant. A crocodile fishing. These are great ideas, everybody. Let me see. I so far, I'm kind of interested in this raccoon eating an ice cream cone. I'm not trusting myself to draw the raccoon that accurately. A sea lion leaping for a fish. Nice. Um, goodness. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? Monkey on a cell phone is also pretty funny. All right. Today. Um. A bunny wearing a dress. I think I'm gonna go for the raccoon with the ice cream cone. Now, my only concern is getting that shapes for the raccoon's face right, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Now, this is why the sketch is important. All right, so I have about five minutes here. Wish me luck. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say, okay, here's about the shape of the raccoon's head and about the size that I need. And then the body here and da, 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 okay and I know they've got pretty good sized ears by the way I don't know about you all but we have lots of raccoons here lots and lots um, Fortunately, I shouldn't say this out loud because I'm going to jinx myself, but fortunately they have yet to mess with our, our trash. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before they discover it and start to mess it up. Um, but there are just so many of them here because we live in a wooded area 
And uh, they come out every night. There they are. All right, let's say I'm gonna have this arm just kind of hanging out like this. And then this other one is gonna be coming out over here and holding that ice cream, okay. Why do we need sketches, everybody? Why do we need to draw sketches for these? Well, I'll tell you, the sketch is the place where you can figure out the shapes, right? Um, the sketch is the place to figure out these shapes because if I were to just try to dive in and start drawing this and I hadn't done this preliminary sketch, it would be so tricky for me to get these proportions accurate um, yeah and to just and to just make it work it's it, it would just be a real challenge and by doing this sketch I'm setting myself up a little more for a successful a, a successful drawing in the end because what I'm doing is I'm figuring out all this stuff without any pressure there's a lot of pressure if you're just saying oh here comes a line and I need to stick with it right but with a sketch, Every line I make, I can draw over it, I can change my mind, I can move something here, move something there, change the size of it, right? You can make big adjustments, little adjustments. It doesn't matter, right? You're not feeling so much pressure. Um, you know, I think I kind of want to have them standing up because the raccoons that we have here are constantly standing up on their hind legs to try and get to stuff. And it's really funny looking um, to see if we just look at our window in the evening hours, uh, we'll see them roaming around, poking their noses and stuff. All right, let's give him some overalls because that's just super cute. There we go. Okay, I like that. Who was it that drew raccoons so well? Richard Scarry? Am I thinking of Richard Scarry? Is that the person? did such awesome raccoons. Alrighty, there we go. There is our sketch. Now it's time to do the line art. Now this is where I just grab the color I was working with earlier and I draw over my sketch, which I'll knock back a little bit. Okay, so it's a little lighter. And I've got about two minutes to, to nail this, so maybe three minutes. Here we go. One, two, three. Good place to start, I feel like, is eyes um maybe that's just me but i'm sure i'm not the only artist who starts things that way now raccoons i believe have some dark is it that are the circles dark around their eyes or are they dark around the edges i think they're dark around the eyes right So I probably have to figure that out in a moment. But first, let's get those ears in there. There we go. And on down to our overalls. Uh, why overalls? I, I don't know why I did that. It just feel, it felt like the right thing to do for some reason for this character. Can't I can't explain my thought process all the time, gang. One of the things about drawing is sometimes it's just sort of happening and I'm, I'm just letting, letting it happen, you know? All right, we're gonna do this down here. And then here comes that one arm. When I look and see these raccoons here in our area, they have skinny little arms. It's really funny. This is one of the things that makes them look silly. Alrighty, and then here comes that other skinny little arm poking out from there. 
There's something kind of human about their little hands, too. And there's one scoop. And then we're going to have the other scoop up here. And then one more right there. Boom. Little cherry. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Now skinny little feet down here. Okay. And last but not least, here is that big fluffy tail. So the question is, yeah, the, the color behind the raccoon. Um, if I were to just knock this back, does that look right to you all to put the color there? Help me out, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's what makes it a raccoon is that little hit of color around the eyes. That looks raccoony enough to me. Okay, folks. Well, there you have it. Another fun time drawing together. Thank you for that really great suggestion. And I'm going to see you again very soon because tomorrow we have more drawing. Everybody take care. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care of one another. And as always, I want to ask you all to just be kind. Okay? And I'll see you next time, everybody. Take care.